Hey guys, what's up? You know, I've had a lot on my mind lately. Uh, today I was on Facebook and I saw one of my friends join this group called the, what was it called? The Rachel Challenge or something like that. And there's a website, rachelchallenge.org. And it, and it was about this girl who got killed in the shootings at Columbine about, I don't know, pretty much ten years ago now. When I was, let's see, I would have been about eight then. So, what, second grade? I would have been in second grade, which is like perfect timing for the story I'm going to tell. Anyway, so this girl was the first one they killed out of everyone they shot and whatnot with these shootings. And I've heard lots of stuff, and part of the reasons lots of kids do these shootings in their schools is because they've been bullied and they just can't take it and nobody helps them deal with it. And people think that the thing that needs to be done is people need to deal with the bullies and have the kids who are getting bullied report the bullyings. But honestly, that doesn't work. When I was a when I was a kid and I don't know, still to this day a little bit, not as much cuz people have grown up, but as I was a kid I got teased pretty much every day. You just go out on recess to play an innocent game of whatever you want to play and someone's got to be a jerk about something. I mean, okay, it's obvious I'm fat. Even here on YouTube, people constantly have to tell me. It, it's like, honestly, I know this. But when you're a kid on the playground and you get teased every day, you just want to tell someone. So you tell the person who's in charge, supposed to be watching you and taking care of everyone, and they tell you to quit tattling. So when you're a child, how are you supposed to take that? So it's it's okay to feel like shit every day and have to cry yourself to sleep at night because of what people do to you? No, that's part of the reason why these kids do this stuff to people. And in all honesty, I have thought about doing this. Luckily, my parents aren't the type to have weapons, so I was saved from ruining my life entirely. And if I would have started, I never would have stopped. I probably would have been the one who kept going until I myself was a goner. Anyway, what I really want to say is that what needs to be done is the teachers and the faculty and anyone supervising these kids needs to actually do something when they hear a report of anything being said against someone. Even if they were just calling them dumb or stupid or retarded or something, the teachers need to say something. When the teachers don't say anything, the kids feel like they're not being heard. When they're not heard, that's when things go wrong and kids need to... And I just believe that a lot of things would be different if everyone would just listen to what the kids have to say versus telling them to just, oh, don't worry about it, go play. Honestly, after you're repeatedly treated the same way and t told the same thing over and over, you can't deal with it and just let it be anymore. It gets to this point where you can't handle it. Do, do these adults just not understand? I mean, honestly, I would, I would like to join some group to help kids who've been treated like this, but the way I've been treated my entire life, I I couldn't handle it. I would be the one to tell these kids just to blow their fucking brains out. I don't want to have to do that. I want someone who has the power to take care of this situation to take care of it. There's so many problems in this fucked up world. Why don't we deal with the one that's a major problem? Kids killing kids. Kids will not kill kids if they feel safe. Why do you attack people? Because they make you feel unsafe. If I felt unsafe, I would attack you. And honestly, they tell you that violence is not the answer. The only answer I've ever found to work is violence. Why don't we, why don't we have something that works better than that? Even cops use violence. If you start mouthing off to a cop and you piss him off in some way, What's he going to do? He's going to beat the shit out of you, slam your face in the ground, and probably pull out his gun and his taser. Now tell me where violence wasn't the answer in that situation. People get beat the shit out of every day by our law enforcement officers for stupid, petty things. Violence is the answer. <laughs>